So, I know I've been saying we're going to do a certain mission. We're going to go behind enemy lines. We're going to fight the Batarians. I just checked our journal. We have one more loyalty mission for our crew. And there's a few words in here that... that pulled my attention to this mission. I'm not going to say what they were. You can probably guess. Uh, so I actually figured what we'll do is hop over to Omega, we'll do Samara's mission. Not really spent a lot of time with Samara. But she's she is an interesting character and I um, I, I want to, to see what her mission will bring. Look at all those hundred percent. I don't know why the Crescent Nebula is hundred percent when we have a load of stuff for Ilium. was in the Cradle Nebula. Okay, we'll, we'll help Samara, we'll Cradle Nebula, then we'll... I just want to get everything done. I... I... Just quest design in this game, the characters... I don't know how many times I can say it. It's amazing. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Obviously, we're taking Samara. I might take Miranda. You know, I'll see if we can work out some of the sexual tension that's going on with us. Right, Mordin has two costumes. I much prefer his... his second costume. I just like the, the variation in colour and the lights on his... Uh, sort of backplate thing. Um, it, it's not that much different. It doesn't... Really matter. I just think it looks better, and obviously, oh, just, just. Whoever came up with the black suit deserves a pay rise. I'm saving them for me. Oh, god damn it! Slam sand. Oh, yeah. Is Slam that good? I don't know. I didn't check Samara either, but damn it. Oh, she's rocking a matlock. So am I actually. I do like the matlock. Matlock is, it's more like a, a DMR. Thank you. Let's get a bit more carry on moss. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Oh, no. Music in Omega is great. Like the music in this, I, I cannot... There are subtle little issues with this game. They don't matter. This is as near perfect as you can get for me. That's a nice looking Tyrion suit. Let's call it the dancer, sorry. But mind is elsewhere. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardot Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last <laughs> victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. I oh, really? It. You haven't taken Why steps to Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. I Lived thought that would have given us something here. else. Like, That's why you're not bothered. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Oh, Arya, you tease. Chris got anything for us? No.
Could you make a Mass Effect themed bar? We must be at a place with holographic projection, lighting and 3D printing where we can Come on, let me in. We can do a Mass Effect theme bar. Are you expecting me? Oh. And Oh, you'd need to get Miranda? You'd need to get dancers dressed up as Sorry. Miranda Lawson. I thought that might be you. Hello, Ish. Long time no see. I take it you've met each other before. Jacob and I worked in the He does have a tone, doesn't he? Back. He helped us with some information. I've met Ish One of my finer moments, I'd say. Help you? You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that, with your help, we can change Omega. He's piqued my interest, you know? What do you mean, we can change Omega? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. Yeah. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically Shut the up, buying Walker. and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. We're not an errand boy. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? I can do that. My contacts use specific drop I like points. money, though. I need you to I'm look outside money. Merit's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good see? I mean, I like credits. And we don't have enough of them. I... I'm pretty sure that we're this way. To one of these doors? Yeah, there we go. Hello. We could just walk into people's houses, apparently. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago, and no one seems to care. The medics said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Aria's people? Oh. I'm looking into this on my own authority. No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative. How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. So she's good. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. 
So this morning did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you. Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> my baby. Shepard's what kind of a person was this Morinth? Dedicated to justice. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. Hmm. Like Morinth was sucking the life out of her. I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. Well, it's only been a few weeks, right? <laughs> My baby is gone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. The tears... We will be respectful. Look okay. I'll examine her things. They don't look like a wet line of gel that's just streamed down her face. They actually looked like something that closely resembled tears. I mean, I'm glad that says sculpture or statue. Made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it, but I'd never work with it. Uh, I guess we read the newest. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. Indoctrination? We can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous. Like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. <sighs> Am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the house is fly. blowing through me, the way she looks at me. With a, a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kissed. I quite tonight. like this this quest because again, it's and the side quests are dealing with it more than anywhere else in the game. But it's dealing with things that I think one that the Mass Effect series has dealt with very well over time, certainly in their their, their games. And the, the sort of questioning and the... Specifically with this quest. And partly down to the same-sex relationships that you could have from Mass Effect 1 through the series. It's dealing with an, an acceptance and an awakening of, of something that people go through. You know, if you are gay, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know how it feels. But I would expect that there is a point, just like any kind of decision, or even as as, as simple and to dumb it down as, as as simplistically as I can imagine it, it's it's questioning if you're doing the right thing. And this kind of plays into that a little. It doesn't go too deep, and it only probably really scratches the surface, and it doesn't convey a lot of the doubt but the fact that there is an entry in there of her questioning regardless of the fact that Morinth is an Asari, is an alien questioning if it's right read the oldest entry. it's very clever hey, diary cycle 34 orbit 671 there's a lot to talk about I dropped Jerut's name and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. Jerut? I'm sure 
everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Close the hollow journal. This is Maureen's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. She, um... Not she. This quest. And and how how I'm interpreting it is a very simple layman's term. Like, absolutely. But there is, is something so predatory about it. And I, I, I can't remember what state the world was in in 2010. But again, I, I sort of questioned, was there something, was there someone, was there some sort of element or maybe in the news or something a lot more closer and, and more personal to the, the story writers where maybe someone was spiked. And this was a way of bringing in that kind of... You know, I, I think where this game succeeds, and I've said this before, but where this game succeeds is it's a very human story dealing with very human emotions. It's dressed up as sci-fi, that's the, the best sci-fi do, but it's dealing with things that we can all understand, that we can all see, and if you want to look a little deeper, and I might be going down the wrong, I might be overthinking it, it happens, I do that quite a lot. But I, again, for a side quest that you don't have to do, for a character that I personally don't use a lot, it just gives you this, this all-encompassing idea of, of who Samara is, and what her, her role as a Justicar is, and that she's hunting Morinth like this. And then all of the Morinth stuff, and as we go through, when you meet Morinth, and this game is constantly making you question and, and see things from a different side of you. She kills with sex, and I have no plans to sleep with her. <laughs> Perhaps you're right to be glib, Shepard. <laughs> Caution is wise here. Morinth speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. And there's the desperation in Samara as well. To to put an end to this shame that has has haunted her for such a long time. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Miranda, Shepard, you read go my dance. Mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup. I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. But that's Morinth what I do best. Far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me. But she won't be able to resist you. You are an Why? artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Again, that's another way of seeing it. I wouldn't say Shepard's an artist on the battlefield. He's a... He's a man fighting for the survival of, of everything in the galaxy. It's desperate. It's desperation. It's it's sheer will. It's not artistry. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? I should go. 
I notice how we have, again, with oil demission, we have a third character who has nothing to input. Can I change my outfit before we do this? You know what? We're gonna... It, it slightly deviates and it shouldn't. It's a bit silly. Because we're not actually leaving the docking area. Although the game will, will make us look like we are. I'm gonna go and change my outfit because I can't remember what I'm wearing. Call this, uh, we gotta wait till night time. Oh, we're wearing the jacket. I wanted to wear the jacket. That's cool. You could go out clubbing in that. Leather jacket. Are they suede shoes? Jeans, t-shirt. N7 tag. He's an artist on the battlefield. I love that. I just love the design and the style of the jacket. So the collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. It makes you wonder if the keepers on the Citadel were once something different. Yeah, it does. I've often wondered that. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. <laughs> Not falsifying, <laughs> tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pow. I win. Joker. <laughs> right, right, no hard feelings. Good game. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? He's great. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> That's all for now. No, that's not what I wanted. Shepherd. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Structure. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each My question is, can we members navigate around the barriers? Not recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Okay, so we still have blocks. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Fair enough. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. We should talk to Joker more. Oh, this isn't Mass Effect 1. That's not. And we're, we're in space. We're not docked. Yes. My brain went back to the Mass Effect 1. Right. Omega. Let's trap a sex witch. She's sex witch? I guess she is. Take his in, Joker. Best to be quiet. Obviously. Oh, we have to take we have to take three. Let's take Jack. Jack would look good in Omega like that. Uh, we're saving them for Reeve, weren't we? It pulls good, but I do like warp ammo. Warp ammo kind of fits her as well. Right, what are we actually supposed to do? Oh. Uh, 
go to the VIP. Which is Ken Salvage. Now I'm hoping that Ken left. A little nitpick. We have this mission. Right, we're, we're walking around Omega, which, alright, it might not be the safest of places. But we're not going to get into trouble here. And you've just told me that... I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I am. And you've just told me that I need to go in without my armor and weapon. I don't know how you do it, but should I not have less weapons and armor at this point? VIP only. We need to drop. Was it Jareth? What do you want, Jareth? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife not the Goblin King. compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it, Jareth? Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Good to know. And we're in our armor. Doesn't make any sense. So we've gone in, and yet. You must go in alone. That's a Tomorrow it's that's a nitpick for me. Like any it just breaks the immersion. Conscious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Pretty sure that... You're just talking about the first Mass Effect campaign. Getting her alone, then falling under her sway? That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She Don't will dance. Get it. She sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. Easy enough. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at Go this. in there, seducibly, Any babe. Mistake, Job done. Warrant will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure... I might learn something to work with Liara. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily. I love and Samara's eyes. So They're just... sharing it with. They look like they're just stars. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I wanna. I just Expel want whatever she wants. Expel 10. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music did they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this is sorry, digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You, you gotta help me. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Don't know where you think I'm gonna score tickets. <laughs> Let's walk up to a guy and punch him. Okay, who said that? Music there used to be avant-garde. Couldn't dance to it, but you felt smart listening to it. Oh, are you still here? Let's have a little, little wander around. We're checking the. Don't dance, Shepherd. Don't dance. Blue suns. Here 
gotta hit some of that later. That's so loud. Do you know anyone interesting? Interesting. You're an interesting one. Go for Krogan. Oh. Edwin. What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you've got an idea for how I could fix that. A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve, and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round that of That was easy. It would never work on me. Verf. I guess they'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. The standards must be low. You're here. It's pathetic when humans try to talk big. Bartender, give me another drink. Pretty sure I can take a Krogan. I hate this place and everyone in it. Every night I hate <laughs> it all over again. It sounds like, is it Bitter Cup from Fallout? We're not dancing. No. We're not. Come on, baby. I can pay. I'm a good tip for you. I told you to stay away from me. It ain't hard to get. Give it up, baby. I'm sold. Leave me alone! Is it kicking off? Don't be like that. I got creds. Is now. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. Enjoy watching you use it. <laughs> oh, gross. Away. What the hell? I'm just looking for a good time. This isn't your business. Good times are over. Technically, didn't Thanks stop there. Security was asleep. How about dance? No? Maybe not. Maybe that's the wrong question. <laughs> Where was the um the stiff? I don't talk to people. Uh, Often. Hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? No. What's wrong with you? What kind of help? My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Flora. He's the worst of the worst. They have journalists here? What is she doing? A vid piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile gang leaders. Yeah, this sounds like fun. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florence on her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's calm. The last transmission said Florence going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Flirt, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. So, In that order, just turn it terminal. Sense. Job done. He's on some men. You need something, man? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I'm Commander Shepard, and I ask strange questions. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool has been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. 